My name is Ambrogio Fazzoli, and I would like to introduce to you our new course on plasma physics and applications. I'm a professor of physics at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, and I have the privilege of directing the Center for Research in Plasma Physics, from where all instructions and assistance for this course come. This course will provide you with the basic knowledge of plasmas and lead you through the application to fusion energy, space and astrophysics. Most of the universe we know about is made of plasma, a state in which nuclei and electrons are set free, and in which electromagnetic forces are dominant. We are surrounded by plasma, starting from the ionosphere 100 kilometers above us, which is connected to the Sun via the plasma of the solar wind. The very tenuous interstellar space is a plasma, and so are the largest objects that emit X-rays. Our life is energized by plasmas. All stars, in fact, including our Sun, are made of plasma and operate on the principle of nuclear fusion. Without plasmas and fusion, the universe as we know it today would not exist. On Earth, natural plasmas are much less frequent but still present, for example, they appear in lightning and auroras. In addition, many plasmas are man-made. Most technology objects in your room are produced using plasmas. The market of plasma-aided manufacturing is gigantic, of the order of $100 billion per year. And plasmas are at the core of fusion, a possible solution of one of the most formidable challenges faced by mankind today, that of finding a source of energy that be safe, abundant, available to all, and compatible with sustainable development. Different parts of the course will be discussed by different specialists, who will combine formal aspects of plasma physics with cutting-edge illustrations of research topics. In the first part, we will introduce the plasma state and the models to describe it, from single particles to fluid. In the second part, we will illustrate examples of plasma in space and astrophysics and discuss plasma applications in industry and medicine. The third part will be dedicated to fusion energy. We will go from the design of a fusion reactor to plasma confining configurations for fusion and finally to confining, heating and extracting energy from a burning plasma. This course is aimed at the level of bachelor of third year in science, in particular physics, but also in engineering, with only basic prerequisites such as general physics, in particular electricity and magnetism, and calculus. So my colleagues and I really look forward to seeing many of you in this course and discuss together plasmas and their applications.